Hi, welcome to Lala's World. Today we will talk about how to make a quick, easy stop motion animation for free using PowerPoint. Okay, so what you're going to do first is find your background or make your background. I'm just going to do a quick Google search for nature background. Okay, and again. Once I type that in there, I'm going to go ahead and hit search. Images. And a good rule of thumb is to change it to label for reuse because those photos are not licensed and you can definitely reuse those because that's what they're there for. I'm going to go ahead and click this one and copy that image. I'm going to go back to PowerPoint and paste it in the slide. Go ahead and spread that out over evenly. Okay. Next, I'm going to go back to my Google search. And we're going to go ahead and search for flying saucer. Okay, so I'm just going to type that in the box. Okay, and you can either change it to transparent or if you're not finding the image you want, you can have any type and then type in PNG and usually those files are transparent, meaning they don't have a background and you can place them in your image. The way you can tell is those little white and gray dots. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and copy that over and paste that. And as you can see, it's transparent, so it fits right in there. Okay, I'm going to resize it. There's a general rule of thumb when you are doing animation. Um, there's this theory called the forced perspective. It's basically this simple idea that the closer something is, the larger it gets. And the further away it is, the smaller it gets. So I'm going to start off with my background small and I'm pretty much going to gradually increase the size as I slowly bring it forward. You pretty much just want to repeat the process of bringing that object closer and making it larger. And basically each time I bring the item forward and make it larger, I'm literally just copying and pasting the, on the sidebar the actual slide that way nothing else moves except that object and it's in the correct position if you want to see what it looks like as you're going along you can kind of just hit the down button on all your slides on the left hand side and it'll let you kind of preview what it looks like When you're finished making your last animation piece, what you're going to do is set the timing on the slides. You select all of the slides that are animated. Go ahead and go over to transitions. And then you would set it to about 0.25. Now you can kind of play with it to see what works for you based on your type of animation. But for this one, I'm just going to set it there. And go ahead and preview it, and voila! Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe.